Oh, oh, are those bad guys? Those bad guys. Oh my god, we're in trouble. All right, let's see if we can get uh, get a ballista up really fast. Ballista, save our people. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible Mir. Today we're checking out a game called Longhouse, which is a uh, base building, base defense type game. This is a first time for me. Let's, let's hop in here and check this out. And uh, let's see, welcome to Longhouse, your chief of this settlement on a floating island. However, this island has become a target for invaders. You must prepare your settlement and defend your central Longhouse from these attacks. Fair enough. We're going to begin. Build a farm. Select a farm from the list of production buildings on the bottom of the screen. Farms produce food. Who'd have thunked it? Which is needed to feed your villagers. Yeah, that makes sense. Farms make food, yeah. Oh, okay, they have to go over one of these field thingies. Can I take up two of them, or does it matter? Am I wasting time? If I'm wasting time, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, build the lumber mill. Uh, now build the lumber mill to produce wood, which is needed for construction. Blah, blah, blah. Wood, wood, wood. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There. It's going to go there. That's where all that stuff is happening. Uh, build a mine. Finally build a mine. It produces metal, which is used a lot for defense. The mine will produce more metal for every adjacent hill, unless already exploited by another mine. All right. Well, we should probably build it like there. There we go. Got lots of hilly things there. Uh, let me see here. Storages. The price of each building will increase every time you build one. Construct storages to increase the maximum amount of resources you can hold. All right. That doesn't seem to be anything special with this one. So I'll just like throw it over here. There we go. Uh, welcome to Longhouse. Villager allocation. Almost every building needs villagers to run them. The more villagers, the better that building will perform. The st strip of numbers on a selected building allows you to allocate villagers. The dot indicates the number chosen by the automa automatic system. Click one of the numbers to manually choose allocation. Click that number again to restore it to default. Fair enough. Do I, do I make villagers now? Uh, train a villager. I shall train a villager game. I shall do it. It'll happen. Uh, we see villagers try to find the best building to maximize production while also maintaining a minimum food production so they don't starve. Click and drag these cards to adjust the priorities of the resources. Well, you know... Do I have to? I mean, I kind of feel like not starving is good. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, welcome to the Longhouse. Defend your island. Uh, uh, invaders threaten to destroy your buildings in your Longhouse. Select and build a defensive structure from the build panel. All right, we'll hit defense here. Make a barrack, spawn soldiers, so automatically attack enemies, or a ballista. Well, they, they want me to make a barrack, so I guess we'll do that. All right. Man the towers. Most defensive structures won't work unless there's at least one villager allocated to it. Choose how many uh, now how many villagers you'd like to work a defensive structure, but be careful not to stifle your production. I should probably get like more villagers going and doing villager things. Uh, let me see here. We should probably put out the barracks that we were going to do before. Oh, okay. They're just like they'll automatically pop out of there, huh? Well, maybe like somewhere like over here then, because it's like our front line-ish, I guess. Or should I have it be able to cover... I don't know. I think they're kind of only going to come from over here. So I'm, I'm kind of okay just throwing it like right here. Because we're not, this is like a peninsula. We're only connected by land over here. So unless they're flying, we should be okay. Uh, we see most defensive structures won't work unless there's at least one villager uh, allocated to it. Choose how many villagers you'd like to work here. Well, how many should I have work here? Upgrade, repair, destroy building. Have one there? I don't know. We should probably get more people out. More people sounds like a good idea. Uh, final note, your current objective is shown in the top right. Complete all the objectives to beat the level. There's a lot to learn, so don't worry if you find yourself struggling. Keep experimenting and have fun playing. Having fun, that's kind of the entire reason for games like this. Uh, collect a total of 1,000 food. Should we perhaps make another farm? Would more farms be better? Like, how many farmers do I have here? I only see one. Should I like... I mean, we, we're nowhere near, like, maxing out. Maybe I should make more peoples. Go do thingies. Am I, can I not make any more? I think I'm totally maxed out. All right, how do I... It says I only have one out of 11. Well, my villagers are required to keep your buildings functional. Each villager consumes food. It says I only have one. Even though I've been trying to train them. So, are they, like, just, like, hanging out somewhere? Or just, like... What is your deal? Because I've been spending money to do this. And I don't see anything happening. Show villagers? Do I see them anywhere? Okay, so I have one here, three here, and three over here, and three more over here. Okay, maybe I don't need quite that many. Do I need Do I need any of them in here? 
Should we get like another one in here? Let's at least get two in the barracks. It seems like a good idea. Just, you know, make, should we get a, a ballista out too? Ballista seems good. Can we just like throw it out here? We'll have it hang out right behind this thing here. So I guess it, like they'll, they'll, they'll pop out of the barracks to protect stuff and the ballista will be here. We'll have at least one guy just hanging out there. All right, now we got to figure out how we get more peoples. Because uh, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> we, 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 I've tried, it didn't happen. Uh, let me see here. Production. Can we build like a house or something? Granary increases maximum food storage. Metal storage farm. Should I make... I should probably make like each of these like uh, regular... Uh, I'm trying to think of the proper words. I should probably make each of the storages. So we have one for logs, I think it is. Is this one? Lumber mill. A lumber pile. So we should also get a metal storage. I'm going to store it over here. Why not? And a food storage. I'll put it over here by the uh, by the you know farm we got here. A mine, a lumber. Yeah, I'm not seeing a way to get more people. Maybe oh, we just need more food. To be, all right, that's the only thing holding us back. We don't have the food to get more people right now. Uh, should I? Maybe until something happens, I should allocate more people the food. All right, let me, let me put you on zero, or put you on one for now. And we'll get as many people on food over here as we can. We're kind of maxed out on, like, wood. So I don't see why we should have to worry about that right now. I could, you know, I could have you at zero, because we're, like, maxed out wood right now. I wonder if there's something else I should be making here. Actually, maybe I should just make another farm. Why not? Oh, we got bad guys. Are we going to survive? We should probably get more people here now. Oh, God, don't die. Are we okay? You can go out there and kill all the bad guys? Is that a good guy or a bad guy? Okay, that, that's that's a teammate. Okay, that, it was a good guy. I wasn't sure. It'd be nice if they had, like, green names or something so I could tell that right off the bat. All right, I'm going to put this back to, you know, back to one. We can have that stay on one for now. Whoops, there we go. Um, yeah, we don't need all these food. We should probably need less miners, too. Let's put you down to, like, one miner. And that's all we really need for right now. He's got too many things. And uh, let's get another farmer going, because food is what seems to be holding us back, as far as I can tell. Can I rotate? Oh, I hit repair, apparently. Uh, r rotate is Q and E. Q and E does nothing. I think I just trained a villager or something on accident, because uh, that was probably the uh, hockey. Anyway, we're going to throw this one down right here. We're going to have another farm. We'll put three people on it. Like I said, I think food is what's slowing us down the most. Oh, we, we got a fight going on. Are we doing okay? Should we get more people out? Seems like our guys actually do pretty good. And this thing, you know, gets them when they get to here. So it's a pretty good combo there. Uh, we got three people just like, you know, what, let's let's put, let's have two defenders on each one. Because they seem to keep coming. And we still have one extra guy left over. Um, maybe we should get more stuff going out. I mean, we do have some food coming in now. We need to really trade a new guy. Train two new guys, I think. Yeah, there we go. We got two new ones in now. All right, I think we're doing all right. Finally. We could probably put another one here, just in case. Our, our melee guys actually seem pretty pretty beefy. They seem to be doing a good job. And uh, can we do research or anything? I kind of feel like research should be a thing. I'm not seeing anything. Have a total of 20 villagers. Maybe we just keep going and eventually they'll give us research? Let's just go ahead and keep you know powering through the, the number of villagers we have. Because I think that's something we just need to make the... Uh, the game move forward. They're probably, you know, like spoon feeding us stuff since we're, uh, you know, doing a tutorial type thing right now. Do I have to? Okay, so I don't have to be looking at that if I don't want to. I kind of like having that up, if I'm being honest. Um, we have two extra. I should get more food going then. Why not? Farm. You farm things. Uh, is there a good spot where we can get like crazy? Yeah, right there. We got crazy farm efficiency right there. Let's get three people on that. We we'll have so much farm stuff going on. It's not even funny. All right, let's get... Yeah, we got we got the people we need to train more stuff here. There we go. Let's put that up to three. We'll have someone on every field except for one. We can only... We're, we're up too efficient. We don't have enough people to cover all the fields we have, apparently. All right. That's all right. We can deal with that. For a second, I thought those birds were bad guys and I was scared. Uh, all right, we got another attack coming in here. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Are we still holding our own? It's, some, it's funny. Some of these guys are actually really big. Some of them are like little baby guys. It's kind of funny. I wonder if they have more power or something because they're so big or if it's just like silly random generation stuff. You never know. 
And uh, Q, by the way, is the hotkey for getting more uh, more guys, uh, more villagers built, which is uh, what I accidentally hit before, so now we know. I can build... I mean, I could just build, like, another defense here. Should we do another... another barracks, maybe? We'll just, like, you know, pump out another front line for ourselves here. Yeah, we have three of you just, you know, hang out there. Handle stuff for us, you know, it's no big deal. We're we actually seem to be doing okay. We're at 18 villagers. I'll pump out another one. We have, uh, let me see, how many do we have? We have 19 according here, so we need one more to get the quest done. Do we have any bad guys coming? I thought I said we had bad guys coming. I was hoping to watch them die horrible deaths. Apparently not. That's all right, I'll just make another thing. All right, objective. Defend against five waves. Oh, we got a battle. The battles are happening. We're totally wrecking face. I mean, we really got nothing to worry about here. All right, well, at, at this point, I don't see the point in beefing up any further, really. I guess we can put down another tower here and throw a guy on it. I think I really what I'd do is just keep putting out more farms. Just so we can get our food in faster. I mean, that just seems to make the most sense for me. We're not really eating through our lumber so much. I guess we can put one guy here. We already have one guy doing iron over here, I think. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're fine. We're doing good. Let's go ahead and get some farms out. Uh, hit production here. There we go. Farm. And... I don't know. Seems like a... I don't know if like having this here gives me two fields or if it just ruins a field. I'm really not sure. Where's a good place to throw one? Like maybe right there. That's a good spot. And we'll put... Uh, oh, we don't have any dudes left. All right, let's buy another... Oh, we don't even have enough to buy another one. Yee. How much are they now? 270. Okay, well, we got one now. We can afford that one. Oh, we don't have any guys on this one. You know, let's put this to one. And put this one to one. We'll kind of split it. Yeah, why not? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. We have to survive five invasions. We're already maxed out on um, Oregon. Let's go ahead and put this down to... Uh, Zero, because we have all the uh, ore or mining or whatever it is we need. Let's watch another fight happen here. Let's see how close things are, because if it starts getting close, I definitely want to start pushing out more dudes. It'd be nice if these guys were actually firing the entire time, as opposed to, you know, just letting the melee handle everything. They seem to heal up by the time they get back, though, so that's something. Can we get more dudes out? There we go, we got more people coming out. Should probably get more farms coming out. Let's get another one here. We should probably also get another. I wish we call it out soon. Another, uh, or at least put more people in the, in the archer tower here or something. Just something. Let's put let's put one right here. Put a second guy there. There we go. We'll see how the uh, invasion goes. Where the heck are they coming from? They keep coming from the bottom, and it says an invasion is coming, but I don't see them anywhere on the map. And then they just kind of like show up out of nowhere. There, oh, there's like a boss guy. He's like a, he's a big old dude. Can we get a better look at him? I, I don't, I don't seem to be able to rotate the camera. Unfortunately, I was trying. I middle clicked, I right clicked, I left clicked. I did, I did all the clicking. All the clickings happened. Right, I promise. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. Obviously, we're up to 320 per villager now. Things are getting expensive. But you know, we're doing pretty good. We only have to survive two more to get to the next spot. Um, I'm hoping by doing this we unlock these new defense turrets because it doesn't seem like we're, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like we're, like, you know, have much we could do here, really, except for, like, pump out more guys. I mean, we could do that. Everyone's, I guess we can put both of these up to three. Why not? And then I'll work on getting our food up a little higher because, you know, the higher food, the higher we can produce more people. It basically is the econ way to go as far as I can tell. Can I increase their fire rate? Is that what that's doing there? Oh, I can also speed up the game. That's Oh, well, yes and no. Kind of, sort of, but not really. Let's let our guys heal up and let's go to the next one. Invaders are coming. Where are they at? I, don't, I only ever see them when they're like around here somewhere. It's like I never see them when they show up. Oh, they're over here. Okay, we got the invader ship over here. Let's see what they... Did they just like land? And just like pop out. We got oh we got two of those giant guys this time. All right, we got we got our stuff maxed out, right? Yeah, we got three out of all of them. We should be okay. Let's go ahead and build a couple more dudes. We're maxed out on food because I'm a bad 
I'm a bad productivity person who didn't keep up on that. Uh, let me see here. Where can we throw down stuff? Uh, I guess we can put one there. Oh, we put one right here. That's a good place for stuff. Right there. All right, how's the battle going? Oh, we got them big old boys here. Oh, they're beating on us. The big old boys here beating on us pretty bad. They're like big old Viking dudes. Are, are we going to survive? One of them's down. Oh, we're, if they finally got in range of our uh, towers here. Uh, we need to build towers that are a little bit forward, I think. Maybe build them on either side here. Because these right here actually don't even... Don't even get in range, I don't think. Like, they should be in range right here, but they're not shooting. Shoot that guy. Shoot him. Oh, we won. Uh, victory. Your first objective, collect a total of 1,000 food. Yeah, we, we were way over that. Uh, let's go into research. We should be able to research a thing. Uh, we got a catapult tower. Uh, we have a thousand research points. Okay. Uh, Frost wave tower slows down enemies, making it easier for other towers to hit them. Lightning tower shoots bolts of at enemies, dealing heavy shock damage. Okay. What? What's? Is there any more to the to the side here? How do I scroll over? I'm. I'm. Uh, we, oh, there we go. I was just clicking drag. Uh, shockwave tower uh, releases high energy shockwaves that momentarily stun enemies. It's not bad, not bad at all. Is there non-tower? I guess these are the only unlocks for right now. Uh, so the splash damage, making ideal choice for crowd control. We could try it. I mean, why not? We'll get one of those. Oh, we can also upgrade them. Interesting. Okay, I wouldn't mind doing some upgrades. I think these are pretty good towers overall. Barracks kind of acts like the front line, and you can have the other guys, you know, kind of like a wall or something, and have these actually, like, do the dips. I'd be, be kind of cool with that. And so we got our single target with Ballista, and we got the AoE with the Catapult. Let's see what we can pour into here. Improves durability, build cost. No, I want to, like, extend our range and do more damage. And yeah, extend range. Extend range on both of those, so they can actually shoot at things. Uh, in their in their area, they had trouble even uh, shooting outside of their range last time. Improved damage by thirty percent. Sure, why not? We'll do some massive AOE damage. There we go. Hopefully, it'll work out. Let's see how this goes here. Go to the world map. So we we did number one here, and I think do we have to continue it? If we continue it, it'll give me another thousand. Is that how that works? I'll hit continue and just see what happens. So we just keep going. I'm now in free play. Okay, I thought it would just, like, give me a thousand. All right, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, save and quit. Can we go into the other place? Continue? I don't want to be in free play. I, I want to continue? No, can I go to the other place? I want to go to the other, the other map. I don't want to... Yeah, let's go to the world map. There we go. Okay, because we already did everything there. All right, let's check out, uh, whatever this one is. So, first objective... Have a total number of 20 villagers. Structure cost acceleration hits harder. Okay, so prices are going to be more, apparently. Uh, I don't want to do the modifier right now because I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go ahead and conquer this one. We'll get lots of RP for it. All right, we got two different places we can hit from this time. Let's start by getting our food going, at the very least. There we go. We'll do some food stuff. Eh, right about. Trying to find my favorite food spot. I think, I think our food spot will be right there. That'll be our food spot. Now let's go ahead and get a dude going. Q to get that going. We'll put them on farming. Basically, anyone we can afford should probably be on farming starting out. Just so we get more more stuff coming as soon as possible. There we go. We'll have, uh, have people on that as well. And then we can start getting the lumber and all the other stuff going. You know, it's about as soon as we can. But yeah, it definitely seems like, you know, going into people early is probably the way to go. All right, let's go to our lumber pile. Let me just throw you here. That seems like a good place. It has three different places you can get to there. And food, yeah, food, lumber, mining seems like a good spread to me. What do we have to do here? Mine, we need 100 wood. Do we have any people actually working here? I don't think we do. Are you built? Are you doing stuff? We do, do we, let's get more people built. That's probably holding us back here. All right, do you have any people there now? We should probably 
Why don't we have any people here? Why are people not doing stuff here? Do stuff. Did I? Oh, I built a lumber pile. I thought I built the. Uh, I thought I built the. Uh, what you call it? Lumber mill. But no, I built the lumber pile. I'm such a, such a Dorcas. There we go. We'll just throw it right here. That's also a good place for it. I, I goofed, but you know what? We, we got it figured out. We'll live. All right, let's get our people working there. Let's get a mine going ASAP. Where we'll throw it? We'll probably throw it like right here. That's a good place for a mine. And also, let's get some defense out. That seems like a good idea to me. Can we afford any at all? All right, we're going to throw this one up. I don't even know where they're coming from. If I can see where they're coming from, I'll get it built really quick. All right, they're going to come from... They could come from either way. I have no idea which way they'll be coming from. All right, if they go top, I'll build top. If they go bottom, I'll build bottom. All right, they're, they're going towards the bottom, so we're building at the bottom. That is just how we're doing it here. Yeah, they're all going down to the bottom there. Now let's throw pe three people on that to make sure we survive. I'll pump out a couple of people just in case. There we go. We should have people going there. Hopefully the barracks will uh, hold them back a little bit. We can get a, get a ballista going right next to it, maybe. No, I'm going to get a catapult going. I want to catapult this time around. There we go. Let's just like throw this right over here. There we go. I mean, I'm sure our guys here will handle things right off the bat anyway. All right, so we'll get, you know, barracks and a catapult, and we might have to defend up here as well. It would make sense if we did. I'm just not sure if we do or not. That's just all there is to that one. Have a total of 20 villagers. That's going to cost a lot. Right, let's see if we can get one guy at least in our catapult. I'd like to be able to actually shoot things. It'd be nice. Can we build another villager yet? 190. That's rough. We need to get some more farmers going. Invaders are coming. Where are they coming from this time? I'm trying to see where their, bo their boat is. Like, do they come from up there? Are they going to come from over here again? Oh, they're coming. All right. If they're going to keep coming over here, then I'll just keep building at the bottom. And the second they go towards the top, I'm going to cry because I'll be so screwed. But for right now, building at the bottom seems like, you know, a decent way to go. We'll keep doing that. Let's see if we can get some more food coming out here. Get another farm going. Throw it right here. That's a good place for a farm. Let's throw some more people over there. Yep, three here, one here. Hopefully that's enough to hold them off. This should have AOE, so, you know, there's that. You gonna do good dips? Well, they died at any rate. I'm not sure how much the catapult did, but they died, so, you know, that's something. No complaints. Let's keep pumping out food. We should probably get uh, storage for these things. Uh, wood storage, we already have. We need, yeah, granary would be a good idea. Let's just, like, throw that anywhere. I don't think it matters. Yeah, throw granary right there. And the metal storage, that shouldn't really matter either, honestly. Just, like, throw it right there. Somewhere out the way. There we go. We have one person doing metal. Honestly, I think that's all we really need. How many people we got doing over here? I don't think we need that many. Let's stick to one. We'll put everyone else on, like, farming if we can. And uh, see if I can build any more. I built one more. Can I build another one? 230? There we go. There we go. All right, let's see. Do we have any bad guys coming yet? I'm just trying to see if there's any any horrible monsters coming our way. Oh, oh, are those bad guys? Those bad guys. Oh, my God, we're in trouble. All right, let's see if we can get, uh, get a ballista up really fast. Ballista, save our people. And everyone go in there. Do ballista things. Kill the bad guys. I can't even see them that well, but they're there hitting hitting our uh, lumber storage. Did we kill them? Are they dead? I think I think we got this thing up in time. Okay, so I definitely need to build something over here to help uh, defend our bacon over here. Uh, let's get a barracks up. I think having a barracks up is just a good idea in general. And uh, having another catapult over here would probably be a good idea as well. So we'll have that, just like Sue. And uh, I guess we can kind of have the same same setup as the other side. So we'll have three here and one there. And this thing, I can kind of like... Can I get rid of this thing? Yeah, destroy that building. I kind of kind of don't want that one there. Uh, you know, not, not that the building did anything wrong. It was a good building. It's just, you know... I just didn't want it there. Uh, let's go ahead and get this ballista here. We'll just shove this one right there. And we'll have one on that one as well. So there we go. One there... One there, three there, and as many people as I can shove out right now. There we go. Can we, can we not get three? I just hit three. I could have swore I put three on you. There we go. Are we having? Are we good everywhere else? Yeah, I think we're fine everywhere else. 
just trying to make sure we have everything covered that we need here. All right, let's see if we can uh, pumping out people's hard. Pumping out people is hard. Oh, we're going to need 1,500 of each resource. Eee. All right. Which means we're going to need more, uh, you know, capacity for each one of these. Let's get another lumber pile. Uh, there's a first, all right, that's the first lumber pile. I guess I'll build the second one anywhere, really. I just want it somewhere kind of out the way, honestly. I'll put you there. Uh, I'll get a metal storage. Put you put you there. We're not using that area. And a granary. Do I even have my first? Oh, I do have my first granary. It's right there. Uh, do we have anywhere we can kind of just shove this that doesn't waste a spot? You know, I'll throw you there. There we go. We have 1,500 storage capacity, at least. So that's something. Can we hit? Yeah, we can. All right. I was kind of curious. I know if you hit R, you can repair things. I just wasn't sure. Uh, maybe we need a little bit more wood. So maybe I'll put an extra person on wood because we're slacking a little bit on that. So we'll go like that. We'll get two people there. Last time we had more wood than we knew what to do with. And this time we're uh, having a little bit of issues, apparently. Where the bad? Oh, oh, we got some big old guys coming over here. We got the big ones coming. Are we going to be able to survive? We totally missed with our catapult. Catapult, you need better aim, buddy. You need better aim. Yeah, hit the giant guy that's giant. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're going to need to start beefing things up over here because apparently we're just not putting out enough dips. So I can start, you know, increasing the people it needs at the very least uh, as soon as I can afford to. How, many, how much gold do we need for this? 290. Holy moly. All right, can I get more people over here now? Can I... Because I only have one extra left over right now, right, so we'll put two there. I just need to start pumping out more people. Let's see if we can get more farms going. Where's a good farm spot we haven't used yet? Um, here might work, maybe. It's not like an ideal spot. Is there a better spot somewhere? Eh, it's kind of like the same difference either way. We only really get one farm spot, as far as I can tell. Unless I want to move into dangerous spots, which I kind of don't want to. So we'll live with it. I'll just keep trying to pump out more people. 300 now. Holy moly. That's nuts. Ugh. Scary. Alright. How's, how's the battle stuff going? Are we still alive? <laughs> Are we, we got... Is, that, is there a Zeppelin coming in? What is with that? Can we, can we kill it with the Ballista? I hope we have something that can kill it. It looks like our Ballista can shoot it. So thank goodness I have a ballista somewhere at least. Uh, can we get... Let me upgrade this. Can I get more people here? Let's at least get two there. Because they're the only ones doing any damage to this thing, I think. Yeah. We need we need more dips. Our dips is lacking, that's for sure. We survived, but not by much. I keep trying to buy you know as much uh, people as I can so we can get more people out here doing stuff, but man... Well, my longhouse is under attack by what? Oh my god, there's a guy over here just shooting it. Alright, um, all right, let's get defense. Uh, ballista. There. Go, go, go. Shoot, shoot things. Shoot that thing right there. Repair. Oh, I didn't repair in time. Crap. We, we, uh, we didn't repair in time. I don't know if you can even repair while you're actively being attacked or not. I'll be honest. I'm not quite sure how that works. I tried. It didn't work out, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is Longhouse, if you guys are interested. It's actually free. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Uh, I think especially for a free uh, free title, it's definitely worth uh, looking into it and seeing if it's your kind of thing. If you guys are new to this channel, is what I do. I play any games every single day on the internet for your enjoyment. So if you're into you know baseball and automation games, vehicle engineering games, or tower defense games, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when I put in content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.